they are. They are dedicated. They're out here 12 hours a day. There's nighttime, daytime snowmakers. It's a huge operation, yeah. but I really think they love what they do and they're really good at what they do. Ski season is here and so are some more chairlift chats. Hi everyone, it's Jim Hamill with the 31st episode of this third season of Pocono Mountains podcast. We last had a chairlift chat with Ashley at Blue Mountain before the resort opened the beginning of December. The crews there and around the rest of the six resorts in the Poconos have been very busy, capitalizing on cold weather when able to make snow and get open when possible. One of those resorts, which opened Shawnee Mountain Ski Area, started making snow last month when I caught a ride up and back down with Rachel Wyckoff. She's extremely pleasant to chat with, on a chairlift or anywhere, especially talking about what she knows best, Shawnee and ski snowboard season. More on that in a bit. The Poconos is a year-round destination for millions, with 2,400 square miles of mountains, forests, lakes, rivers, with historic downtowns and iconic family resorts. It's the perfect getaway. You can always find out more on PoconoMountains.com or watch PTN, the Pocono Television Network, streaming live 24-7. Now back to the episode. We've embarked on these chairlift chats at various ski resorts to kick off the season in the Pocono Mountains and hope to have more as we meet folks out there on the slopes and get their stories headed back up the mountains. But the story right now, especially at Shawnee, is the major effort underway to combat Mother Nature and make snow whenever the temps dip to the right chill factor. At the time we chatted, Rachel Wyckoff explained Shawnee was able to open for a weekend in early December thanks to 400 snow guns running on the mountain. That's only the beginning. Shawnee has now kicked off its 48th ski season on December 9th. With regular seasonal operations through the week, Shawnee Mountain skiing and snowboarding trails will be open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Wednesday, with night skiing 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Here's our chairlift chat. Enjoy. Hey, it's Jim Hamill with Pocono Mountains Podcast. Once again here on the inaugural chairlift ride, for me at least, this season with Rachel Wyckoff here at Shawnee Mountain Ski Resort. We are just, I mean, it's loud right now, but that's because you guys are blowing snow round the clock to get open as soon as humanly possible. And you have a big announcement to make, Rachel. I am so excited. These guys have been working so hard with their snow making that we are opening on Saturday, December 2nd. Saturday, December 2nd. And so for people who are now listening here on this new second edition of Chairlift Chats, We've got winter in store, and December 2nd is a pretty good target date and planning date for Shawnee to open. What's it take to get to this moment? It takes a lot of man hours, a lot of nights, a lot of water, and a lot of air, um, and a lot of snow guns. But these guys know what they're doing. They, everything is automated pretty much for the most part these days, so they can make snow so much more efficiently at warmer temps yeah. in the past and they've just done a phenomenal job that's amazing to hear too because i know that you know we look back on the previous years some years have been great last year not so much but this year you guys were really looking forward to hitting the ground running here and have really kind of tried to capitalize on the weather here and as we're on this chairlift right now taking a gander at us you know you're gonna see these uh you know trails snow covered um several of them and then all throughout the winter more and more of them will become open and online after December 2nd. For sure, if anything we have learned with these weather changes is to capitalize when we have cold weather. So it doesn't matter what time of day it is, doesn't matter if it's a holiday, if it is cold out, we're making snow. Absolutely. I love what you guys have up here too, because it's such like a family friendly kind of environment with a lot of different uh, aspects to what your mountain is. Give, give people the lay of the land if they've never really been here before and experienced Shawnee. Sure, so we are family owned, we're family focused. That is what we do, it's what we love, it's our passion. We really have something for everyone here. We have snow tubing. We have lessons as young as three years old to lessons to as old as you wanna learn yeah. to your ride. Uh, we have trails for beginners, trails for experts. We have two terrain parks. Uh, we have our mini monster mountain, which is new this year, which is really exciting. And that's for those little ones who might not quite be ready to ski or snowboard, they, but they wanna play in the snow. Yeah, absolutely. So, we're like, why not? We could make something like that. So there's a little snowball wall, little bikes and a sled. I think it's going to be really fun for these little guys. Absolutely. I think that's the idea too about the Poconos 
in a way, is one of those great training grounds. If you haven't learned to ski or if you want to help your kiddos learn to ski, these are perfect places to do that. And so you have specific instructors, you have specific places where that can happen so that they can get up here and ride the big lifts and not be daunted by the big hill. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have a trail dedicated to guests that just want to learn. So they're only with instructors. They're not with the general public. And our instructors are just so good with these first timers, or even if you've gone maybe once or twice, but want a little uh, brush off the dust off your skis, they're, they know what they're doing and they're really incredible at what they do. That's fantastic. Tell me about your time here. This has got to be one of those storied, you know, Pocono ski destinations. Families come back here year after year. You guys have employees here who've been here forever. It's just like one of those, um, you know, to see everybody back for the season must be a really exciting time. It is. I mean, it truly is a family mountain. Our employees are like families. We have known most of them our entire lives. It's so funny. Our new department heads have been here since they were little kids working when they were 14. So it's so neat for the older generation to see this young generation stepping up and coming to this mountain to work that they they just love. Yeah. And you board, right? I do both. You do both. So you ski and you board. Yeah. What is it that you love about boarding and skiing up here? I mean, we kind of hit the trails a couple times already in the past couple of years. But, um, you know, there's some great terrain, some great views, too, from the top of the mountain. It's so beautiful here. It never gets old. I've been here since I was born. I've been skiing since I was two. My kids ski here. I love that. I can ski and my kids can learn here. But it's also challenging enough that if I want to free ride myself, it's just so much fun. You feel that breeze. You can take a few quick laps on your lunch break from work. Um, It's just, it truly is, uh, it's a passion sport, right? We're in this industry because we love it. Absolutely, we do. And that's what I think is really great about being here in the Poconos is that you can get here from you know, Scranton, New York City, Philadelphia, you know, Maryland, Delaware, and, and really kind of really have a, you know, a family trip up here. You know, you can come up for the weekend, you can come up for an entire week with the holidays approaching. And so, you know, you guys have really put a lot of time and effort and work into making this a full on experience. There's operating too, right? A lot of things that people could do when they're not seeing snowboarding too. Yeah, absolutely. So we have restaurants, we have bars. If you just want to lounge in the lodge, we've got a beautiful fireplace. You can't beat that. And I mean, I think the the Pocono region is just incredible. It's only getting more family friendly. It's just becoming more of a destination place. There's so much to do um, outside of the ski areas, but just still so close. It really is close. Um, So December 2nd, if people are now listening to this, maybe mid-December too, I mean, by that point, you guys are like really looking forward being open seven days a week, you know, uh, day skiing, night skiing, and, and everything in between, right? Absolutely. So our goal is mid-December to be 100% open. Obviously, that depends on the weather. Be open for night skiing, and we're really ready to roll at that point. All our staff is here and excited and ready to teach and talk to our new guests. So it's a good time of year. That's awesome. I know we're just getting to the top of the lift here. We're going to swing around. Um, you know, we're hitting the guns again here too. You guys have quite a few of these all throughout the mountain, right? I mean, there's no shortage of them on every trail. You got them covered. Yeah, every trail has 100% snow banking. There's actually 425 guns total all over the mountain. 425. Yep. That's that's a monster of, of like infrastructure and investment. I mean, that's no cheap amount of, you know, investment to really kind of battle Mother Nature because we would love to have snow as much as we could get snow. But we do know that it doesn't always snow. Um, and so you guys have the capability to make it. And you're doing that right now to get open as soon as you can. We have. We've invested so much time and money into our snowmaking equipment because that is the heart and soul of our business. Without snow, yeah. there's no skiing and snowboarding. So it's really key for us. We get the most to date, most powerful. Um, I mean, even the technology has changed so much in the past yeah. 10 years. So to stay current with it so you can be the most efficient is really just the key. Yeah. And and I know that we're talking a lot of business right now because, I mean, we, we are starting off on these chairlift chats with all the folks at the mountains who really talk about, like, the highlights of the season. But eventually I want to come back and I just want to ride yeah. with people who enjoy skiing and snowboarding in the Pocono Mountains, kind of get their perspectives on things. So can you kind of detach yourself? I know we talked about you having been here for so long and, and really enjoying to do this with your family, but just detach yourself from, you know, the Shawnee side of things. And just from like a, a purist standpoint, I mean, looking out over these mountains, enjoying what, what Mother Nature has to offer. And like in wintertime, you want to get outside. You want to like 
break up the doldrums sometimes and skiing and snowboarding is a perfect way to do it. Absolutely. And I always tell people, they're like, oh, it's so cold. But if you dress appropriately, yeah. it feels so good to be outside that cold weather hitting your face. You kind of forget about everything, no matter where you're skiing or snowboarding. It's like just a way to clear your mind. Sometimes for me, it's just a minute to be by yourself and kind of forget about everything else that's going around, you know, family, work, whatever. Yeah. And it's just there's truly to me there's no better feeling i mean even riding the lift with a stranger you get yeah. to hear their story where they're from you know it's a yeah. great way to meet someone new that's a, that's how i kind of thought of this uh this this concept in some way because you know i like to ski but i also like to meet new people and so it's like this this almost like a unique pairing of you know the winter sports and and you're literally stuck on the chairlift <laughs> sometimes with somebody and, and it's fascinating to hear their perspective on life and just you know the region and i think that that's really refreshing and like you said you just got to be bundled up because the day like today is a cold day you know <laughs> and so talking even kind of keeps you warm too yeah absolutely man so anything else that you want to kind of share with us before our chairlift chat is over with here rachel about the 2023 and 4 season i mean i think the biggest thing is everybody knows right we, we buy our tickets online now it's a great way to save oh, money yeah. Most people are planning their trips in advance, so they have these dates in mind, so you can pick the lesson you want or the tubing time you want, not yeah. have to worry about showing up and being unprepared. So that's true. I just really want to emphasize, you know, we're family friendly, we're family owned, we're always a phone call away, we're on live chat. There are so many ways to get in touch with us. That's good. Come visit us anytime, talk with us in guest services. Um, we want to talk to your guests, hear their feedbacks, and do what we can to make your visit a little bit easier. Last year, you guys had new rentals, I remember, right? Yeah. yeah. So so those are still relatively new. And we got new ones. And you got new ones for this yep. season, too. We always too. invest in our yeah. rental shop. It's That's key huge. for us because a lot of our skiers and riders are either beginners or first-timers. Yeah. So we want to make sure they have nice newer equipment to, to learn on. Well, I, I look forward to the opening day, December 2nd. Um, and then, obviously, throughout the holiday season, we'll try to get on up here to share a lot of the great you know aspects of what Shawnee's offering this season. 400 plus snow guns yep. across this incredible. mountain. That is really impressive. And I know that your your workers are hard at work right now. And that's real dedication here in the Poconos is to see, you know, the workforce coming out here to make sure that people can enjoy what the Poconos is all about too. They are, they are dedicated. They're out here 12 hours a day. There's nighttime, daytime snow makers. It's a huge operation, yeah. but I really think they love what they do and they're really good at what they do. Well, I know you also love what you do because you get to not just talk about skiing and snowboarding, but actually do it because it's part of the job. And me too. So I know. We're not arguing here, folks, no. but uh, Pocono Mountains Podcast is so thankful to have Rachel Wyckoff from Shawnee Mountain Ski Area here on Chairlift Chats, our own second Chairlift Chat. I think we've got a few more to go. Ski Big Barrel open later in the month, I think, in December. And, uh, you know, a lot of different friends from across the resorts and the six ski resorts. Um, and um, really kind of just excited for the season for you guys. And where can people find out more, though, on your website and on social media? So we, we send them right to the spot where they need to go. ShawneeMT.com. Uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook. We're on YouTube. Uh, threads. Yeah. Find us, chat with us. We would love to hear from you. Well, I, I definitely want to share with everybody that they have a great head start on the season right now and are expecting a December 2nd opening and aren't going to be turning back. Even if Mother Nature wants to throw through wrenches in the work, Rachel, I know you guys are prepared to take it in force. So thank you again for joining us on the podcast and on our Chairlift Chats episodes here. Thanks for coming. All right. We're just cruising into the bottom here, folks. And I think we're going to have to make sure next time Jim wears his snow pants because <laughs> jeans are not cutting it. <laughs> a little long john. A little long john. A little layers, you know. So thanks again for doing this, Rachel. And we'll see you out here on the slope. Absolutely. Shawnee Mountain Ski Area, one of six ski resorts in the Pocono Mountains with big plans for this season. Head to PoconoSki.com for daily updates on hitting the slopes this year. And as a reminder, Shawnee is open Thursday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., Monday through Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., with night skiing, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. We'll have a new episode each week, highlighting lots of the fun things you can experience while you're visiting the Poconos. Subscribe and leave a review and or comment on whatever platform you listen. The how do we help people vacation on a budget? Midweek deals. Yeah, all the same things you get on the weekend, maybe more. 
Midweek deals. Monday through Friday, not as many people around. Easy drive, no airfare. Midweek deals, no promo codes, and it's easy to book. How'd you know? Know what? Midweek deals! Oh yeah, midweek deals. Check out PokemonMountains.com slash offers. We're back. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. Now for a Pocono Mountains Podcast Extra. A couple of years ago, they dedicated a historical marker for Dick Smith in Honesdale. Smith grew up across from Central Park and then eventually wrote the lyrics to the timeless tune, Winter Wonderland. Here's that story. Enjoy. This was the view Dick Smith had as a child whenever it snowed. A pristine park across from his home on Church Street in Honesdale. The inspiration, someday, for Smith's greatest and most lasting work as a songwriter. He was very musical growing up. He was a 1918 graduate of Honesdale High School and very, very popular among the kids. Peter Becker wrote the book on Dick Smith and that timeless tune, Winter Wonderland. Becker's family was close with the Smith family, having lived on the same block. And today, the Smith home is a law office, still very much what it was like a century ago. When you have a building like this, where you actually have pictures of him sitting right here, looking out into the park, you can almost imagine, you know, going back in time, you know, listening to him fiddle around, coming up with those words, the inspiration. It's, it's really exciting and something special. Smith did find something special, that's for sure. Winter Wonderland would be known the world over. At first, Becker says it sold a quarter million copies in the first four months. In between bouts of tuberculosis, Dick Smith worked with Felix Bernard, who set the words to music, and it was a hit. But soon after, Smith fell ill again. He didn't see that the, the real rise to the song. It was soon, soon, or hundreds of people over the next several years uh, started different, like Perry Como and many other famous uh, people uh, who were putting the song, um, doing renditions of the song. Dick Smith passed in 1935, but now those immortal words live on, especially here in his hometown that inspired the lyrics. Being a boy in Honesdale, I remember in the winter the snow falling in the Central Park and how beautiful it was at night. And part of the tradition of how he came to write the song, just Part of it with the inspiration, according to Marge, was that the fact that, you know, he, he remembered the joys of uh, living across from the park, which was basically his front yard, as it, as it was mine, and he would uh, play in the park like other kids yeah. and remember the beautiful snow on the trees and everything on the, on the roads. Now, some 87 years after Dick Smith conjured Parson Brown, his legacy is cemented outside his childhood home in Honesdale. A big crowd was on hand to see the state historical marker unveiled. And wouldn't be complete without a rendition of that iconic tune. Just having that blue marker uh, people search that out on the, on the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission website. They can now search that and find it here. We'll get more visitors coming to see it. Having that state historic plaque, it's really something special. It's no longer just Honesdale. It's on a statewide you know, registry. And people from all over are going to be remembering this building, remembering this song, remembering this town, remembering this park. It's going to be fun. The song? And the man who wrote it, now a part of history spelled right out for all to see. And if you pause and listen, especially during the right time of the year, you can hear those words. Later on, we'll conspire. As we dream, as we dream by the fire, the face on the frame, the plans that we made, walking in a winter wonderland. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Winter Wonderland, the true winter wonderland in Honesdale and Shawnee Mountain Ski Area. Two of the very best experiences among many this winter season. 
We hope you enjoyed Pocono Mountains podcast. Please remember to subscribe anywhere podcasts are available. Come visit us in the Pocono Mountains. Plan your trip today. <laughs>